Okay, um, this is part two because the video was too long. So, okay. Environmental damage, health, health implications for consumers from dyes and toxins, underlying corruption, money laundering, illicit drugs, reduces government revenues from taxation and raises surveillance and policing costs. There's a risk in online sales. Examples include tobacco, pharmaceuticals, consumer electronics, pe chemicals, pesticides, toiletries, household products, automotives, food, drink, agricultural and agricultural products and electrical components. Um, then we have fraudulent medicine. So the world um, value is $5 billion per year from East Asia to and Pacific to Southeast Asian countries. Um, there's also counterfeit food and drink. 10% of UK food is known to involve fraud and I got this from I think I got this from the textbook for IB geography because it was in my notes um then into China 2008 thousands of babies drank melanin contaminated formula um and in 2013 um there was this Europe horse meat scandal and there's also okay wait why would it be melanin I feel like melanin shouldn't be in a drink. Isn't melanin for your skin color? Okay, wait. It's actually meant to be melamine, not melanin. <laughs> melamine, right? Melamine. Yeah. Okay. Then we have drug flows. So globally, drug flows are worth $300 billion, such as heroin, worth $33 billion in Western Europe and Russia. Cocaine and 80% of cocaine is destined for the USA and it goes through Honduras. So here's some, so this is, I think this is a graph showing or map showing the like illegal flows globally. I'm not sure like if it's a specific product, but I don't know. I feel like I'm not going to discuss it because I just don't really know. Okay, here's a good diagram from the UN showing flows of heroin. So heroin largely comes out from Afghanistan, uh, cocaine largely from South America, um, going to Europe and the US, um, firearms, I don't know if that's considered illegal, I don't know, I don't know about the regulations for it, smuggling of migrants, um, that's a lot from Central Africa to Europe, female trafficking victims, a lot from Eastern Europe, UK, Ukraine, Russia, and also South America and Brazil. Um, counterfeit consumer goods, a lot of that is coming from Asia, um, China specifically, to Europe. Counterfeit medicines, a lot again from Asia, India, and China going to um, Africa specifically. Um, wildlife trade, which is illegal, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure it's illegal. A lot from Southeast Asia and a lot from Southern Africa too. Um, yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna look at flows of trafficked people. So the main flows we see here are from East Asia to Europe, Europe to North America, South America to Europe, South Asia to North America, East Asian to. North America. Well, that kind of looks more like Caribbean, but I don't know if it means to go to North America. Um, and then a lot of South Asians, Eastern European, Central European, Sub-Saharan Africans going to Middle East, and also some Sub-Saharan Africans going to Western and Central Europe. Um, and then this shows the flows of counterfeit goods. Um, so the producers the largest producers of counterfeit goods are china turkey i think that is um india thailand philippines malaysia um and then trans transit nations i honestly oh so transiting i'm guessing that means like the pro the like trade of counterfeit goods so that's what the squares indicate so it's quite high in china or hong kong this is a really bad graph honestly um that's another thing for exams you have to know how to evaluate diagrams this is a really bad diagram 